On this week's episode, we have TikTok star Brooklyn Webb. Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about understanding that you are a masterpiece. The fact that you are here today is a miracle. Imagine how many events had to transpire, how many people had to meet, and the sequence of events that had to unfold to ultimately bring you into this world. This was no accident. That fact and that fact alone is evidence that you being here matters and that your life has a deeper purpose. The reality is you were brought into this world for a reason. Our responsibility is to find out what that purpose is and live out our full potential. Abundance and success are all for the taking. If you've been doubting yourself lately, this is your reminder that your life is a miracle and that your gifts are desperately needed in this world. The world is waiting on your talents. As Matshona Dewayo quotes, your soul is your paintbrush, your world is your canvas, your life is your masterpiece. Stay tuned. Coming up after the break, I know that you also partnered up with BB Rexa, who's also a very body positive artist. So let's talk about that collab and how it happened. Yeah, actually, we our teams ended up connecting and it got all set up and I got to go over and meet BB, who is lovely. She was so, so sweet. That was probably literally one of the coolest things I've ever gotten to do. And we got to make a few videos together and it was just really awesome to be able to connect with and create content with someone who's been in this space for so long and advocating for something like this for so long. And yeah. Wardrobe provided by H&M. Next up on the show, we have Canadian TikTok star, Brooklyn Webb. With over 666 million likes and over 10.6 million followers, Brooklyn is using her platform to be a champion for important issues like body positivity. Brooklyn, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you? Thank you for having me. Yeah, thanks for being here. I'm really excited to speak to you today. Um, you have a huge social media following. So let's talk about that. When did you first get introduced to social media and why did you decide to create your TikTok channel? Yeah, um, I actually first got started with social media because it was kind of everyone in school was starting to just hop on TikTok. It was just the new app. Everyone was just making little silly videos for fun, trying to see who could get just like a few hundred likes. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I was having fun just creating. And then over the years, I got more and more invested in it and had so much more fun doing it and creating content. And here I am. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. I know it's been quite a journey, right? Yeah. <laughs> when did, did you see growth right away on your channel or was it like a progressive thing? Oh my gosh, no. I think it took probably two or three years of creating content before I had like a mega viral video. It took me about two or three years to build up to about 50K and then it actually changed in quarantine. In the matter of the month of a month, I went from 50K wow. to over a million. Wow. You know, I think that's so important for people to hear. It takes time, right, to grow a channel. Even for me on my Instagram, it took years for me to grow it. It wasn't like an overnight thing. So I think that's really important for our viewers to hear just in case they want to build a channel and they're not seeing that growth, that it, it's a process, right? It, it'll happen, but it, it takes time. And I know that music is also one of your passions. Let's talk about your song, My Crown. I know it got over 5 million streams. So let's talk about it and what inspired it. My Crown is just kind of like a fun play on a bit more of a satirical take on songs. It's just fun, upbeat, happy pop song. And the whole project is honestly kind of hard to explain in a short form amount of time. But I did end up making a, a YouTube video kind of talking about the whole thing, the process of me going into music and just creating this massive project. Yeah, let's talk about the video. I actually had a chance to watch it on YouTube and it's, it's really interesting because you have all these people kind of uh, like haters quote-unquote and you're confident and doing your thing so let's talk about that video 
Yeah, the video was super fun. I actually got all of my friends in on it. So everyone oh, that the video was all of my friends. So it didn't really seem that mean because they would be like yelling at me and doing all this <laughs> stuff in the video. And then five seconds later, we would cut the camera and it would be like us all laughing, just having fun. <laughs> Oh, it's, you know what? It's always nice to have your friends, right? Take them along your journey of success. It's, it's, it's nice to celebrate with them, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I know you're also a model. So let's talk about some of the stereotypes that you talk about and that you faced in your career. Yeah, I mean, with social media, kind of ever since I've started, there's been a lot of people out of nowhere kind of commenting on my body and my look and my appearance. And for me, modeling, I just love to create. I love to be creative. I love to express. And modeling is just another way for me to do that. And I hope that anyone who sees me knows that they can do it too. You, you're not restricted by any of your features or anything. Like literally every part of you is beautiful and unique. Yeah. Absolutely. And one thing I do commend you on is that, you know, you post real pictures. Like, I feel like in this day and age on social media, everybody's posting filtered pictures. I mean, I'm guilty. Everybody is guilty of it, right? We put filters on our pictures. Um, but you're posting, you know, you and your essence. And I think that's really important for people to see. Um, and of course, you're going to be people that love you. And there's going to be people that, you know, have their feedback. So how do you deal with the criticism? I mean, for me with the criticism, no matter what it is, I feel like I know who I am deep down inside. My friends know who I am deep down inside. And these people are just kind of people behind the screen. A lot of the time they haven't even posted and put themselves out there even. So for me, dealing with the criticism is I know who I am. I know what I'm about and I know that I'm happy with myself. So if these people aren't happy with me, whatever. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. That, that's really important when you know who you are. You're like, you know what? This is me. I don't care. And I think that's that's really important. I know that you also partnered up with BB Rexa, who's also a very body positive artist. So let's talk about that collab and how it happened. Yeah, actually, we our teams ended up connecting and it got all set up and I got to go over and meet BB, who is lovely. She was so, so sweet. That was probably literally one of the coolest things I've ever gotten to do. And we got to make a few videos together and it was just really awesome to be able to connect with and create content with someone who's been in this space for so long and advocating for something like this for so long. And yeah. And what kind of conversations did you guys have? I'm curious because both of you are so body positive. So it must have been interesting for you guys to meet and discuss. Yeah, I mean, our conversations were a little bit shorter because she's very busy, very short on time. But even just getting to be there and kind of hang out and just see how confident she was, because this was my first time kind of doing a collab with someone who I've watched and listened and looked up to for forever, that she was just a real person and just so chill and fun. It was so nice. Absolutely. And who would be your dream collaboration with? Dream collaboration. I love Lizzo. I think that she is oh, amazing. Yeah. Getting to connect with her would just be amazing. And Brooklyn, let's talk a little bit about your content for our viewers that don't know. Um, what kind of content do you post? And also, do you have a creative process while doing it? For me, it's kind of like a bit of you never know what to expect, but it's always kind of generally a fashion, beauty, makeup, dance, because I just kind of post whatever I'm feeling and whatever makes me feel happy and whatever I want to produce and create. Mm -hmm. And you know, for our viewers that are dealing with body positivity, just like being confident, um, especially, I feel like, especially for young girls, you know, in elementary school, high school, um, it's a lot for them to deal with, constantly going on social media and, and comparing themselves to IG models, right? So what advice would you have for someone kind of struggling with um, their body image? I mean, there's so many different things that goes into either content or what you're seeing online. And the biggest thing that I can say outright is just not to compare because there's so many things that you might not even be thinking of that could be going on in the image in itself. And also just know yourself. It, once again, once you know who you are on the inside and you're confident with who you are as a person, it makes everything else so much easier. And you're beautiful inside and out and you should know that. And you know, my platform is all about inspiration. What is, what's some struggles that you kind of faced in the beginning of your career and how did you get through it? I mean, for me, I think a lot of the struggles that I dealt with with the first part was once again, just comparison and feeling like 
I wasn't good enough just through comparing myself to other people, but remembering that no matter what, and just in life in general, it takes its own time and its own pace. And the worst thing you can do is compare because you're on a completely different journey than the person next to you. Yeah, I think that's so true is the comparison is the worst because once you start comparing, I mean, you just have to be confident and stay in your own lane. So I, I think that's great advice. And Brooklyn, what are you currently working on? I am currently working on just kind of, I just moved to LA, so I'm just kind of getting myself situated and sorted. And this next year, I think I'm going to be working on a lot of different things. Awesome. Well, thank you, Brooklyn, so much for being on the show today. We wish you all the best. Keep inspiring people with your amazing content. And we hope to have you back on the show soon. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook. Hey, you can fly high,